All right, so I'm gonna show you today how to create, how to complete the thin slide new semester reset assignment. So for this assignment, you are going to go to your directions on slide number two. And the first thing it says is to find your slide number. So if you are in class when this is assigned, you'll get assigned a specific number. If you're completing this after class or from home, then you're going to find to just find a slide that no one is working on towards the bottom of the numbers. Make sure you do not touch anything else, anyone else's slide. And a great idea is to have the very first thing you do put in the created by, put your name in there to claim that for yourself. Okay. So um, next thing is you're going to think about a word that describes what you would like class to be like. So when I'm thinking of my word, my number one thing is always like kindness. So I'm going to go to thesaurus.com and I'm going to do a search for kindness because I want something kind of creative. So I want, ooh, okay. So I want some words that are going to kind of represent what um, what I want for class, what I want people in class to feel like, to be like. Um, and I am going to actually choose, what am I actually going to choose? I'm going to choose thoughtfulness. So in my, okay, so in my example, I'm going to create a text box here. And I'm going to put my word. Thoughtfulness. So that's something that I want to have in class. And this is my chance. Well, we'll leave that for right now. So that's going to be my one word. So I created a text box, made my word. I can put it wherever I want. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Okay. Then I go to directions and I need a picture to represent my word. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go insert image, search the web, and see what, let's see, I spelled it wrong too. Thoughtful. Okay, and see what Google has to share with me. None of these are really what I want. So maybe thoughtful isn't what I want my image search to be. Maybe I go back to my original word. Okay. And I can't actually see that. So I'm going to make it bigger, but it looks cute. What do we got? Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so I've got my word, I've got my picture. I'm gonna come back to my directions. And I'm gonna write one sentence about why I chose that picture. And I've got a sentence starter that I can just copy and paste. I'm gonna create a new text box again. I'm not gonna worry about where things are formatted. I'm gonna put them in here. Okay, so I chose the word thoughtfulness because I would love to be in a classroom where people are intentional about their kindness. So just a sentence that says why I picked that word, what I want from that word. Okay, I'm going to go back to my directions and describe what needs to happen to make that word true. Okay, so again, I'm going to copy and paste. I'm going to make my life easy. Why not? I am going to get a text box. Okay. And I'm going to set this up kind of like a list to make it again make my life as easy as i can okay so to achieve this i can help my partners 
Oh no, I can't spell. Partners when they're stuck. My classmates can. What can my classmates do? My classmates can cheer others on when they are doing something good. And my teacher can. What would you want your teacher to do to make a more thoughtful classroom? So I'm going to say my teacher can assign work that can be done in groups. I'm going to take a second and format this here. Okay, so now I just have to make my slide look pretty. And it doesn't really matter where anything is, so I can... I can use whatever text I want. Let's see, maybe I want to change the color. Um, let's see. Uh, I can make the these sentences bigger. I can put them wherever. Um, again, change the font, change whatever, and know that I am trying to create a slide that is visually appealing and gets my idea across. You are going to be presenting these. So if you look at slide number four right here, it's going to tell you that I get 10 points for having my slide done following the directions and then 10 points for my presentation. And when I'm getting my grade on my slide, I'm going to answer it of, is the slide cool, pretty, easy to read? All of those things need to be in there. All right. Uh, good luck. And I can't wait to see what you come up with.